All right, for this video, Bootleg Mooncake's gonna be chilling in the corner over here. You know, just just he be chilling. Mooncake be living his little little planet, destroy your life. I love my little E thirty five one. That's actually what he's called in the show. Anyway, we're back with a part four. Ah, this series is almost over. I'm finally gonna be free. These these videos are hard to do. Okay, these take like three gigabytes per video. They're like, I can't. My phone can't handle it. Anyway, let's get on with it. I'm gonna shut the hell up and start with. School of Rock, baby! With Jack Black! He was in Clone High in an episode before. He was the pusher from episode 9. Here's the disc! It's got everybody! Next up, we have my very first Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Or unofficial Max. So this is one I made. It's got, it's got a 2021 fake release because it never came out. Close enough, baby! This is the first two seasons. It's got the HBO Max original blurb right there really cool. I love how this one turned out, you guys. I have close enough in hand. The only difference about between these two is that, um, this one has the TBS logo, because that's where it was originally going to air. So, yeah. Fun little detail I decided to add. To go along with season two, we got season three, baby. I don't know, I keep saying baby after every time. Here's season three. It's got all of them this time. On my original one, they were all cropped weirdly and, like, wicked pixelated, but... On this one, I cropped it normally. Also, as you can tell from the verbatim logo, yes, they're burn on demand. If you guys actually do want one of these, I'll, uh, if I started an Etsy account, would you guys actually purchase these? I'm just saying, like, I can't do it now because I'm broke and can't afford DVDRs, but if I did, I absolutely would. If I didn't start any problems with them, because, like, I swear to God, every single one of these is always a problem. Season one's fine. But then when you get to season two, the last episode starts freezing up, like completely out of nowhere. Like the whole, th like the whole system just went poo poo on me and stopped working. I was pissed. This is my only way to watch close enough. Anyway, we got Mean Girls with um the only one I remember, Regina George. She's the only one of these that I can remember because it's been a while since I've seen Mean Girls. But um I remember seeing this my library, like one of my libraries around me, who was doing this like one dollar DVD sale. This was there along with Monty Python and the Holy Grail, which is technically my grandma's, but what the hell ever. Next up, we have Nick Picks Volume 1 with Danny Phantom and XJ9, aka Janny, and Jamie Notrin. Not complaining, though, I love Goddard. Um, here's the back. It's got, it's got Tommy and Doc Boy. Finsterella, one of the very few decent modern Rugrats episodes. Or sorry, I meant modern as in like early 2000s Rugrats. Like after Paul Germain stopped doing whatever. The post Paul Germain era. Next up, we're getting to my final box set. Ren and Stimpy with false advertising on the covers. AKA this is volume three or season five and some more four. I know it's called season five and some more four, but this will always be known as Ren and Stimpy volume three. So here we go. Disc one, false advertising. Mr. Horse was never in this show. At least in these episodes. Like, Mr. Horse never freaking showed up. That's false advertising. Space Madness only happened in one episode because John K's dad was like, Hey, don't do this anymore. John K, uh, died, died, he was scared of his dad or whatever. And yes, I remember, like, I don't know. I heard about John K. He's a really effed up guy. He groomed, a, he groomed like two minors or something. At least from what I heard. I know I really shouldn't be saying this on my channel. I could possibly get banned, but like... Why would you do that? Like, why would you pull a dream? Stop it. And the only one with non-false advertising is Ren and Stimpy from... And also with... What? Open this freaking thing up. You got Ren and Stimpy from... Wait, what does it say? Oh, that's just stuff down there. MTV Networks. Because I forgot by then, they, uh... I forgot by the time I find this Nickelodeon doesn't technically air the show anymore. It's not technically a Nickelodeon thing anymore. It's like a MTV spike. I don't know. Next up we have new Nicktoons, Rocket Power. Rocket Power. That's the only one. So Nicktoons Christmas, four tales of good tidings, and four tales of shows that you'll never see on DVD besides just SpongeBob, because he's the only one that Nickelodeon actually gives a crap about now. It's a disc, it's got it's got the faces of Nickelodeon, Tommy and Tommy and Spinge Bill. Here's the actual thing. So let's do a checklist. Don't have that one. I used to have that one. Don't have that one. Don't have that one. And the back is just the same thing without any stuff on it. Like this this looks like something you would see on like a VHS. Like 
it's cropped like a VHS cover, I'm not gonna lie. So like, I don't know. Did Nicktoons Christmas even get a VHS release? Like, like, or is it like wicked expensive like Drake and Josh Go Hollywood is? Cause like I follow Drake and Josh stuff. Like I know Drake and Josh Go Hollywood did get a VHS release. Anyway, here's one about drag queens. Ki Wong Fu, thanks for everything, which I stole from my dad because basically we were going through his old DVDs because we were trying to get rid of stuff and I saw this movie. I was like, because I saw it previously with my mom before and I thought it was a good movie. So I decided, you know what, might as well. I mean, the only complaint about this movie is that there's no RuPaul, but whatever. Next up, we have Coco from the movie Coco. Uh, here's the everything. Here's the everything. Everything is still there. Everything is awesome. Eh, eh. Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. It's, I, I know these guys. This is, this is Harold, that's George, and that's Captain Underpants. Oh, and there's MCP Pants from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> Wait, was that not, was that recording the whole time? What the, why does my phone suck? Here's a Disney DVD that I made myself because there's no official releases. Boom, Kansas against the freaking universe. This is one that you cannot find any, oh, I mean, it's on Disney Plus, but this has no DVD release. So I went out, made my own, you know, added all the copyright info on it. This is epic, epic, it's epic. Actually, I know this would be the original art usually, but I took it upon myself to use alternate art for the DVD version. So if I ever went out and made a Blu-ray, I would look make it like, cause Disney Blu-rays always have different like art for them. So I would do the same with this on, I don't know. I did my research on this. I wanted to make it look like a genuine Disney DVD. Here's one, one of the very few movies I have starring Will Smith. Men in Black, baby. You are this guy and keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Here's a spine, sick as hell. Here's a back, sick as hell. Disc one, you got that guy, and disc two, you got Will friggin' Smith, baby. Jones. Will Smith is awesome, you guys. Next up, I'm doing two at once. Out of the Vault and Out of the Vault Rewind. Both released by Shout Factory, one of which has another freaking Danny Phantom episode that counts. I got three Danny Phantoms now. Here's the backs on both of them. Instead of, instead of, what's her face? Wait, hold on, what, what? Uh, I forgot her name. You have Ickis and Crumb on this one. Oh wait, Obelina, that's her name. Obelina, whatever. Instead of Obelina on the blue part, you get Danny friggin' Phantom. Boom, insert, boom, disc, insert, disc. It's plain as hell and it sucks. I mean, at least it's better than Paramount DVDs now, but what, what the hell ever. This is hopefully one of my last, oh wait, no, I have one more, two more after this. Blu-ray disc, Sunk the Hedgehog with Sunkic the Blue Man on him. Sonic the Blue Man group. So, I went out of my way when this release, I got it at Walmart, it's... I went out of my way to get one with a slipcover, because I know it has a comic inside. Here's the actual case, blah blah blah, all that crap. Um, inserts, let's see, don't have that one, have that one, don't have this one, but I kind of wanted it because this movie was actually decent. Don't have that one. Alright, moving on to my final two Blu-rays, one of my very first ones from South Park! The movie, bigger, longer, and uncut, found out a goodwill. It works perfectly. Here it is, guys. I love the slipcover. It's shiny. Why did they get rid of it? Um, spying back. This has a. This actually has a DVD or 4K release now. I kind of want to get it, but I don't have the means necessary. I don't have the money. I don't got that moolah. I don't have that cash money. Plus, I don't have anything that does 4K. Anyway, to go along with it, yeah, seasons one through five of South Park, which has Kenny on it. This is one. I want to get 6 through 10, but, like, resellers keep jacking up the price, making it really hard to find, so, yeah, I hate you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this running gag, I hate resellers. Here's season 1, I had a DVD copy, the original Warner Brothers 2002 release. Disc 2, or season 2, it's two discs. Season, why won't it come off? Very hard doing this with one hand, leave me alone. Season 3! And season four with Timmy! And of course you got season five with, oh crap. Oh dear god. And you got COIL! <laughs> That's how you ruin value, kids. Next up we have more, more homemade stuff. I mean I have one more official one, but anyway. BOOM! Unicorn Warriors Eternal. One of the, this is gonna be a Cartoon Network original, but I branded it Adult Swim because I'm lazy and I don't know. So, here it is. Unicorn freaking Warriors Eternal. I loved this show. It doesn't work because I can't burn it yet. Yet? But like, I went out of my way to go ahead and make this because Unicorn Warriors Eternal is actually a good show. Like, this show is good. I don't care what people online say. I, Gendy Tartakovsky, this show is amazing. I, Greenlighted for season two, bro. I'm sorry, that's more geared towards Warner Brothers, whatever. 
All right, we got two more Nickelodeon official releases. We got Avatar The Last Airbender Season 2 Part 1. This is the first five episodes, which if I made this, it would be in a three-disc set with um, them all being separated in seven episodes. Then, Hey Arnold the Movie. The original I bought at a flea market, and it was worth it because... It's the original 2002 DVD in a 2017 box. Yay. Next up, we got Beavis and Butthead to America. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Here's the spine. I took it from the Paramount DVD. But again, just like Aqua Teen Hunger Force, it's a DVD-R. One made by yours truly again. Because I can't afford a copy. But believe it or not, somebody on Internet Archive posted this in 720p. So, you know, I had to hop on that. Next up, we have Bob's Burgers movie from 2022, which, you guessed it, DVD-R. Do what I mean by this is going to be Fairly Odd Parents, but uh, didn't really. Yeah, that, that was going to be Fairly Odd Parents. Rest in peace, man. But what, what does it say? The complete first season, 2002. Yeah, you could literally see where it happened. Like, 2002 Nickelodeon, but now it says 2022 Fox. Put up there, remake one more discs. This is a tragic tale of I f***ed up. Now, for the final one of this pile, I have a few more over there that I have to pick up. Smiling Friends Season 1, which, let's take a wild guess what it is. I'll give you a few more seconds. It's, it's a DVD-R. So again, I made this because I can't afford one. I want it, but I don't have the means or money necessary to buy it. But... I tried my best to make it look as official as possible. I did. This this looks like he has like a little angry eyebrow, but it's not. I was trying to make it look like. Hold on. I tried to make it look like the Smiling Friends logo, so I, I, I did pretty good, I think, for my own like. I did pretty good. This is this is a pretty faithful reenact or like remake of it. I think for season two, when I do eventually make it, I'm gonna make it look like Pim or something, like Pim or Charlie, one of the two. Like how they did it with early home movies DVDs, where they would have a quick like, close-up of the character. Like, on season one, it was Brendan Small, like a close-up of Brendan and Melissa, I think. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and get to the next, last pile. We're on the home stretch! We got two more object shows, one of them being one, which I have to remake, because this, this is an absolute need of a redesign. Uh, so this is gonna have every episode of one on it. Season one's gonna be on here, then season two's gonna be right here, which... This was going to be a 2023 release, but then One Investigations came out, so it's now a 2024 release. Ugh! Next up, finishing my object show stuff, you have Inanimate Insanity Invitational. Featuring all these guys, which I just took a poster, did some stuff, put a background on it. This, again, is in need of a redesign. Absolutely. 1,000, 1 million percent. Okay, so here's disc one. I modeled it after... Oh, I hate these cases. So this one's modeled after Yin Yang. This one's modeled after Life Ring. And disc three is modeled after Tea Kettle. So, you know, I, I did some stuff on it. I did my own personal, like, thing with this. Next up, we have one that's kind of a, I don't know, guilty pleasure. It's a funny movie, in my opinion. Sharkboy and Lava Girl 3D. I bought this at a Goodwill. You guys saw the video. You saw the video. It's got the 3D glasses. It's got the movie. It was produced by Disney, who apparently owns Miramax. I'm just guessing. Scary movie. They're scared because there is a pizza... Oh, that's underwear. No mercy, no shame, no sequel. Oh, how times changed. Here it is, guys. Scary movie, which, again, I stole from my dad because he was getting rid of stuff. And you know what I did? Anyway, we're getting into a couple more Warner Brothers stuff. Detect Pikachu. Spine. Back. Also, I, I lost the case for a really long time, and uh, Detect Pikachu was not anywhere to be found. So, like, I looked around, right? Found the disc. Just chilling. Next up, we have a whole, or a whole. We have kind of like a guilty pleasure of mine. Teen Titans Go to the Movies. This movie was funny as hell. Like, it's funny because Teen Titans Go is kind of terrible sometimes, but the movie and some of its early episodes were kind of funny. I don't care what you freaking critics say. I don't care what you haters say. I don't care if you have a hate boner for this show. I, I thought the early episodes in the movie was funny. All right, we're on a very freaking home stretch. We got... Moral Orals Season 1, another make made by me. Uh, I did this because Moral Orals box set is like $20 and from what I hear it does not work half the time. So, uh, took it upon myself, made my own. Season 2, same thing, but again, unavailable online, like everywhere. So, hopped on that. Season 3, which is literally just Volume 3, with all 13 episodes of Season 3 on it. And, uh... I've seen worse. Then you have one more Blu-ray that I never got around to doing because I don't have a Blu-ray burner. 
over the garden wall because I can't afford a blue ribbon. Yay. Then you have Friends, the uh, best of the last the top five episodes of season one. It fell out. Back in there. There we go. The best of Friends season one. It constantly falls out of its stupid freaking snap case. We're not done yet, folks. We have one more thing with more DVD. Move. So inside we got some stuff like this never before seen Maxell DVD-R of Invaders Inventor of the Florpus that I never got around to finishing because my DVD burner stopped working. No, sorry, this is like an unreleased prototype, kind of. Like, did you know that Sonic 2 was burned onto one of these things? Anyway, you have the Max Original Infinity Train Book 4. I have it. Pinocchio, which somebody commented last time, do you have, like, you should get more stuff. Here's Pinocchio. Here it is. Shut up. Again, I'm sorry for being so rude, but, like, I don't know. Those comments are kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I have two of them. I have Sing on DVD, Sing 2 on DVD. I have the Blu-ray somewhere. Adventure Time Season 1 Disc 1, Season 1 Disc 2. Uh, hold on. Adventure Time The Suitor. I have a case somewhere. I'm lazy to go look for it. iCarly I Space Out. Classic. Then the rest of these are Big Bang Theory DVDs. So I'm not gonna bother. This is all first three seasons of the show. Okay? Okay. And now, after everything, after all the stupid crap I've done for these videos, it's over. The series is over. I'm burying it into the ground. This is the last one I'm doing for a while, unless I actually get some really notable stuff. You're, I'm, I'm not doing another one of these till a very long time, okay? I'm not doing these again for a while. This took a lot out of me. A four-part series on showing DVD. Like, what a pointless thing! <clears throat> Out my hand. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Like Plain Rock 124 always says. Anyway, I'm out of here. And as always, uh, here he is. Chuckety Pock. Whatever he says in the show. Yay. Goodbye.